Today, I'm gonna share five apps that will make us app developers a lot more efficient and save a lot of time. Almost everyone who is into development uses certain tools like VS Code, ChatGPT, Postman, and... <coughs> But some of the other apps are like hidden gems. Okay, maybe not hidden gems, but less obvious. So let's begin. The first app is Firefu, which is an absolute must have for anyone who deals with Firestore and Firebase. It's always a really big pain to find document or run a query on the default console. And even just checking out the data is tedious. With Firefu, you get a table view of your database. You can easily switch between tables and projects. And you can write the smaller scripts to make quick changes or run more complex queries. For someone like me who has to deal with dozens of Firebase projects, Firefu saves so many hours and headaches. One of the biggest letdowns of this app is that it's a subscription based app when obviously they don't have any running costs and they don't offer any of their features for free. We are in the post chat GPT era. So this is how our life looks like. You need a function to do something slightly complex or a bit tedious, something like resizing an image or processing some data. So you open chat GPT and it gives you the function in the first try. It works! No, I'm kidding. Oh shit! Oh no! You have to fight with it and explain the entire code base you have and then you can get a nice function. Then you have to paste it into your code base and integrate it. It's a hard life, I know. With Cursor, you can make this process much, much faster. It will give you autocomplete AI suggestions and you can tell it to edit your existing code and it's fully aware of the context of your code base and it can automatically integrate the generated code into the existing one. So if you are into saving a bunch of time by avoiding explaining everything 10 times to chat GPT and doing the hard copy paste yourself, Cursor can certainly help you out. Understandably, they have a subscription plan and it's not cheap, but if you think you won't use it that many times, you can put your own OpenAI API key. So they don't have to pay for the API calls and you do. So companies, if you have running costs, do subscription. But if you don't, please give us these options. Thank you. The next one is Miro, the online whiteboard for collaboration. It sounds a bit cheesy, but it's actually awesome if you are brainstorming ideas, planning projects, or conducting remote meetings. I personally use it to think about the big picture stuff, or create ugly drawings for the designers to take inspiration, or documenting some features and requirements in a more engaging way with some visuals. The crown jewel of all apps is digital highlights. Because I created it. Your mobile web highlighter and content organizer. Whether you are conducting research, taking notes, bookmarking important information, or in my case, reading documentation. It allows you to highlight, translate, organize, and access content across your devices. I mean the Apple ones. This is one of my personal projects which I created for myself and turns out it's been useful for others too. I hate to say it, but it's not for free. However, for those who are in the Patreon community, I've put a 50% off promotion code. I was actually running out of ideas for cool and less known apps. Then I remembered how many meetings I avoided with Loom. Loom makes a screen recording and presenting stuff on your computer a breeze. Just click on record with the camera and microphone either enabled or disabled. As you are recording, it's being simultaneously uploaded so after you finish, you immediately have access to the video on the web. Then you can edit it a bit and send it to your boss or employee and have a quick conversation on different moments of the video. It's gonna save you so much time if you deal with a lot of people online and have a lot of meetings. And there you have it, five essential tools that I use every day to be more productive and streamline my workflow. The link to all of the apps are available in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to drop them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.